Is there trouble brewing within the ruling United Democratic Party? Reports to our news center are that Deputy Prime Minister Gaspar Vega has sent a letter to the Prime Minister indicating that he will no longer serve as the party's deputy party leader. The UDP will be holding their convention on Sunday, March 20, at which time it was expected that Vega would be endorsed as the deputy party leader. It is unclear what might have led to this decision. However, it has been well publicized that Vega has not been a happy camper since the re-election and the removal of the Ministry of Natural Resources from him. It is also well documented of his refusal to give up his office to the new minister, Godwin Hulse. It is unclear just how these situations might have contributed to Vega's decision, but according to our reports, it follows a meeting with several other colleagues, at which time certain allegations were made. In his letter, Vega also indicated that he will not seek re-election as the area representative for Orange Walk North. He has committed to working with his successor to ensure a smooth transition and maintain his support for his UDP party. It is anyone's guess what will happen next, as it is uncertain whether Vega will be stripped of the post of Deputy Prime Minister. Also of note is that the convention, scheduled for Sunday, March 20, would have been an endorsement of Vega as there were no challenges to his post as first Deputy Party Leader. Will this move force the party to accept candidates to fill the post or will the post be filled by the second Deputy Party Leader, Erwin Contreras? We have been unable to get a response so far to those questions.